What's up guys? Today we are going to be talking about the first mod that everybody with a car that has a direct injection motor should be doing. An air oil separator. For those of you that are unaware of the differences between direct and port fuel injection, here's a quick overview. The more traditional port fuel injection seen in this diagram has fuel injectors mounted behind the intake valves. When fuel is sprayed into the intake using this method, the fuel acts as a cleaner, keeping the back of the valves free of contamination. This diagram shows a layout of a direct injection engine like the one used in my Genesis. The advantages of direct injection are more precise control of fuel which helps limit the amount of unused fuel, increasing fuel economy and horsepower. The biggest drawback from this is that the backside of the intake valves don't see the natural cleaning effect from the fuel that you see in port fuel injection. Oil vapors vented from the PCV and crankcase breather cause carbon buildup on the backside of the intake valves, robbing your engine of that power it was designed to increase in the first place. Here's an example of what untreated intake valves on a direct injection engine can look like without an air oil separator. This is exactly why it's the first modification for any direct injection engine. I originally purchased a larger Mishimoto oil catch can, but the engine bay in the Genesis is tight. There isn't a good place to cleanly mount it without more modification than I wanted. We're going to need something smaller. I found this air oil separator on Amazon for $15 and my total came to around $30 with the piping and clamps. I realize the reservoir is small, I just plan on monitoring this every time I check the oil. The PCV valve is where most of the oil vapor is vented to the intake manifold, so that's all I'll be modifying for now. Installing an air oil separator here removes the oil from the air, keeping it clean and free of those carbon causing vapors, preventing horsepower loss over time. On the Genesis Coupe V6, to gain access to the PCV valve, you just need to remove a section of the sound tube. This is held together with two nuts and a couple hose clamps. Rampant. Then you just need to remove the factory hose from the valve to the intake manifold. I found a perfect spot to mount the separator using an existing stud on the firewall that holds the brake booster vacuum line. With a little modification to the included bracket, I was able to get it mounted vertically in a spot where I can easily remove the reservoir. This is where the uh, PCV vents to the uh, intake manifold. This is I'm going to show exactly why I'm doing an air oil separator. There's oil. Ooh. Got a little bit on your finger there, Mitchie. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Now it's just a matter of fitting, measuring, cutting, and clamping the hoses. This one is coming from the PCV valve. Going through in the correct orientation and coming back and going to the intake manifold. And that's it, folks. All right, guys, I just want to do a quick recap here. Uh, I've driven the car about 200 miles since I installed this air oil separator. I just wanted to show you guys uh, how much oil is, uh, is accumulated in here, a pretty decent amount. Um, I'm pretty impressed here. Here, let me take this off. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed how much oil came out of this thing in only 200 miles. I, uh, I wish I definitely did this sooner. Uh, definitely, definitely think if you have a direct injection engine, this is the first mod that you should do. So that's it for this one, guys. Uh, let us know what you think about these uh, quick install videos. Um, I don't know, if you like them, uh, let us know. If not, if you'd rather just see us uh, beat the <coughs> out of our cars a little bit more often, you know, we could do that too. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Done.